just 30 minutes a day. That's all it takes to literally change your life. Hi everyone, Roy here from RK Treasure Center. And if you've never watched this channel before, I'm a full-time reseller, which means I go to garage sales, thrift shops, estate sales, flea markets, just about anywhere I can to find undervalued items to flip for a profit. And if you can spend 30 minutes a day working on selling stuff online, and I'll show you how in my videos, then you can turn around and make a profit. You can be able to pay bills, go on vacations, do whatever you need to have that extra spending money. Over the last two months, I've been taking time off, doing some vacations, doing different things, and I probably haven't even put in 30 minutes a day. Today's video, I'm gonna show you the items that sold, and these are the items that I picked up at garage sales, thrift shops, and they turn around and make a profit. And I'll show you and tell you what I paid for them and what they sold for. So for everybody that's new here, I just wanna welcome you. This is what I call the eBay room or the treasure center. And everything on these shelves and in these bins are things that I picked up at those thrift shops and garage sales. They're stuff that I picked up for just a dollar or two or three, and I'm turning around selling for 15, 20, maybe even more. So today you're gonna see all the different items that I sold. I'm gonna tell you what I paid for them, and I'm gonna show you how much I sold for them. I got me a little list of items that sold. So let's start getting those items now. I actually just got listing this today earlier today i i listed this this is a little pyrex bowl this is number 441 and a pattern on there is called gooseberry this is a really really good they usually come in a nesting bowl set with four different sizes i picked this up for 75 cents can you guess what i sold it for 50 dollars plus shipping good find one thing I like to tell people that are just starting off reselling or different stuff is don't spend a lot of money. Look for inexpensive items and think outside the box. One item I like to look at in particular are Pyrex lids. Not necessarily Corningware lids or something, but Pyrex lids. What well, lids that actually say Pyrex on them? Generally, you can go to your thrift shops, places like that, and you'll find them. Like this one here is a little tiny brown lid and it says Pyrex on it. You can measure them and put that down in your description. This little Pyrex lid sold for $9 plus shipping. The buyer has about $20 all in on it. And this probably cost me maybe 25, 50 cents. Now I sold something out of this bin that I just picked up about two weeks ago. And it is a little Waterford vase. This was a really good, if you happen to find Waterford and you probably can't see it too well, but it's actually inscribed on the bottom down there, maybe in reflection you can see it. This little Waterford vase, you'll never believe how much we paid for it. Kim and I found this at a little thrift shop where they were just kind of closing out, getting rid of a bunch of stuff. This, we paid a dollar for it, and it's a good vase. We listed it. It's been there for listed for about two weeks. It sold for $40 plus shipping. The buyer has about $56 all in on this. I don't want people to think that you can sell these all the time, but you can sell these all the time as long as they're legit. This is A7C. I buy these as long as they say Pyrex, which it will right up in here, it says Pyrex. I pick these up for like 25, 50 cents all over the place. And as long as they're not really scratched up, they're in good condition. And this one is, it's very good condition. This sold for $12 plus shipping. Well, I sold Dottie the Bunny. And this is actually the name of the bunny is Dottie. Dottie is a plush animal, but it is signed by Robert Rakes and is also serial numbered 1049 out of 75,000. So there was actually quite a few made, but what's unique is this one not only does it come with a tag, its original price was $69.95, but Robert Rakes plushed animals have movable joints, most of them, but the unique features of them is they're wood. You see the head right here is made out of all wood, little glass eyes. And the feet where he where the signature is at is wood. Somewhat hard to find animal, but they're out there. This little dotty bunny sold for $30 plus shipping. Well, simple things sell and they sell for good money. This right here is a Weight Watchers 1, 2, 3 Success Point Finders Guide. It's just a little slide guide that keeps track of calories and points. Weight Watcher stuff can generally sell for good money, especially unique or individual stuff. This little paper guide sold for $30. So I'm kind of an all around seller. I sell all kinds of things back here. I've got clothes and some shoes. I've got glassware. I've got 
stuffed animals. I've got games. I've got video games. I've got puzzles. I, I've got just about anything I can find for a really inexpensive price that I know is going to turn around and make a profit. Those are the kinds of things that I pick up. In fact, I also turn around and I sell books. And this is books right here. This is the synopsis of Epic Tragedy and the Gospels. That's a really good book. That sold for $15 plus shipping. And as well as many of you probably know, you can go find inexpensive books at garage sales, things like that. You can pick them up for $0.25, 50 cents a piece. But $15 plus shipping, that's not bad. This is Off Grid Solar Powered Simplified. This is a book I actually got when I was doing a van conversion and I don't need it anymore. This sold for $14 plus shipping. So I said in a recent video that I used to make fishing weights to sell. And I'm thinking that maybe that should be something I should start doing again because I usually, I thought I was going to stop making fishing weights to sell because of the weight and the cost of the USPS shipping prices going up. However, I sold three packages of these fishing weights and you can see I gave my own little system right here. 3 8 ounce walking sinkers. There's 25 made by RK Trader Center. And that's the that's them right there. And a person bought all three of these which totaled $32 and it's going to go out into a padded flat rate shipping envelope for about $8. So for the price of the lead, the cost of me making it and the money I'm going to make off of selling these, it may be worth making fishing weights again. I'll have to consider it. Well, I have mentioned over and over to be sure that when you go to thrift shops and garage sales, you look for good quality Pyrex lids. And I just sold this one, which is a cranberry Pyrex lid. This Pyrex lid, the buyer has $23 all in on it. And this is stump I pick up from 50 cents to a dollar at thrift shops. Although I do sell a few plushes and stuffed animals, I'm not a fan of them. I do have a couple of bins right here full of them, but I did sell a small one and that one's in here. And that's this little Disney plush, this little lion stuffed animal sold for eight dollars plus shipping cost me a whole quarter to buy well i sold a pair of cobra walkie talkies these are the small little mini cobra walkie talkies i got them already bundled up they come with their little charger and paperwork these cobra walkie talkies i know they're hard to see sold for seventeen dollars and 99 cents but i picked these up for a dollar at a garage sale I sold a brass ram, and let me show it to you. It's really pretty cool. There it is. It's a brass ram. Kind of looks like maybe a horoscope Aries, you know, kind of one of those things. You can tell. You can see the holes down in there. It's hollow, so it's not super heavy. This was a nice little estate sale find, and they only had $2 on it. This sold for $18 plus shipping. All right, I sold a bundle of crochet hooks. And a lot of times, the crochet hooks, you can find them all over the place. Thrift shops, garage sales, all kinds of places. And, or times, you'll, you'll buy bundles of stuff, and these will be in there. And then I'll just stick them all together and sell them up and lot them up at one price. These sold for $22 plus shipping. And I think there's 32 crochet hooks in there. And over here, I sold these. I actually just listed them yesterday. And this is a package of... Olaf rotary blade cutters. This, there's five blades in this package right here. And, and keep a lookout for, for rotary cutter blades by Olaf. A lot of seamstresses and people, well, anyway, work with fabrics and different things. They use these a lot. Uh, um, actually, crafts or anything. They're expensive and they're hard to, to to go buy brand new, but there's a lot of times people will just get rid of these things or they're getting rid of craft stuff and these will be in there. And this one package right here sold for $17. We sold this item right here. This is a Nova Nano. It's just a precision cooker. I've never seen one before. It goes on a pot. Saw this at a garage sale for $5, brand new. Looked it up and these sell for good money. If they're brand new like they say they usually go for a hundred dollars or more 
this one uh just i just felt that i needed to get a good sale out of it i only paid five dollars this sold for 65 dollars and right behind it is this ninja blender all this is is just a blender pot or the pitcher comes with a dough blade and also the metal sharp blade inside this was another good little find this sold for 50 dollars another thing to be a, an eye out for when you're out at garage sales or thrift shops is look for items that you can buy and sell that are in bulk that you can turn around and sell individually one thing i did probably about a year and a half ago maybe almost two years now is i bought a box of t-shirts and they all said volunteer they're bright neon green t-shirts i'll show them to you right over here and i bought about a hundred of them for five dollars because these people weren't needing them anymore and that's what these are right here and there it is so this is a green volunteer shirt kind of a yellowish neon yellow or green and like i said i had about a hundred of them i probably only got about five more left this sold for twelve dollars plus shipping and i've been selling them all at twelve dollars and like i said five dollars into about a hundred dollars or a hundred items selling at twelve dollars a piece that's pretty good all right, it's sold an ashtray. We'll see if we can find it. I'm not sure. It's right there on top, so that's good. Sitting there on the left. All right, so this is a Best Western ashtray. And I'll go ahead and see if I can slide out. Another one of those little items that I picked up. This I actually got from a garage sale or a thrift shop. I can't remember which one. And I probably didn't pay a dollar for it or something. Anyway, this is just an ashtray. It says Best Western this sold for $15 plus shipping. Sold a NES game over here in M1. I don't know why. I normally put games back over here with my video. I don't know. But for some reason, I put the game in here. And it's back here in the back. And, and this is it. It's called Hattress. That's a really good game to find. If you happen to find the Nintendo NES game, this one is from... 1985 but if you find hattress good money makers this one sold for which was this one sold for 24 dollars 99 cents a while back i came across some digital cameras in a camera bag in fact the camera bags are down there those right down there are the camera bags it had just a bunch of different kinds of cameras in there i paid five dollars for like five different cameras some really good ones some of them get some good money anyway one had inside there were these compact flash cards there's four of them they're just like memory cards from the i think there was a date on it or something but i think it was around 2001 there's four of them in there first one's lexar then there's sandisk and oh it's from rca and compact fuji film these sold for $27.99 plus shipping. And I still got the cameras to list. All right, so I sold a Red Bird 45 record. This one is by the Dixie Cups and it's called Chapel of Love. So if you're old enough, you probably know that song or heard it before. On the back side, ain't that nice. Anyway, Kim and I, we picked up uh, about 145s at a garage sale we paid five dollars for the whole lot none of them came with their original sleeves but we decided kim, well, actually kim decided she said after she listened to some of them let's go ahead and sell them i didn't want to take the time to list them and she said she would and she did this one sold for nine dollars plus shipping so has anybody out there ever heard of blue willow and if you haven't blue willow it is a design it's japanese design on pottery uh, a lot of people pick up the different pottery pieces that have it. There's the original, then there's kind of a secondary original, and then there's the modern version. And they all look the same, but the originals are a lot better. Uh, they have Japanese stamp on the back. The second, what I call second originals or second makings of them are eight, early late 1800s, early 1900s. And a modern day, of course, it's all going to be modern day and generally say just Japan. Well, this is what this is. This is a small blue willow plate. And the blue willow plates all have these same similar design. They have like a couple of dove at the top, maybe a palace or castle with a bridge, a couple of people going across the bridge. And of course, the trees are willow and the patterns of blue, well, blue willow. The back of this one is actually marked and it says 
1899 made in Japan or Japan is what it says and it has some little cracking or crazing but it doesn't go all the way through so this one i was able to sell if it wasn't for that cracking on the back of it and that crazing it would have made a lot more money this one's kind of what i call it secondary original and this one sold for twenty dollars plus shipping sold a record lot five record albums of any eddie arnold they're all eddie arnold albums this sold for thirteen dollars plus shipping they go out media mail all right, I sold an item out of this bin up here, and I haven't sold anything out of this bin for quite a while. And there's really not much in there, you can see. This is kind of where I kept my Happy Meal, McDonald's toys, things like that I would sell. So it was things, items that didn't sell too fast, a few other little items in there. But I sold this right here. This is a tennis player Smurf. He's holding a little tennis racket. This is a 1978 PVC keychain toy and this sold for seven dollars and 99 cents well i said earlier that i had a couple of camera bags over there and i sold some products out of it um it came one of the things that came with was some 35 millimeter film you can see it still has some 35 millimeter film they're brand new this these are sealed but i did manage to get one camera listed and it sold right away and it's right in here this little camera pouch right here comes with a olympus camera let me get this opened up turn this light back on so you guys get a little bit more light Oop, probably too bright now but this little olympus camera is a sp310 you see it says olympus right here at the top this camera is a 35 millimeter camera comes with its charging cable this sold for 27 dollars so really happy about that especially like i said five dollar buy i've got five cameras and a bunch of accessories and i've been selling everything all right i'm still selling these amdro mosquito kill bombs these sold for eight dollars and 95 cents that's that walmart arbitrage every time i come across them at the end of the season i pick them up they always have these things going for like 50 cents sold it for eight dollars and 95 cents so i'm making some good money all right, so we're coming here to V2, and I sold this item right here. This is a Grundig radio, and it's just not any kind of radio. This is an AM FM shortwave radio. If you've come across shortwave radios, ham operators, people that like to listen to that, people around the world, and just a bunch of people looking for all kinds of bandwidth really like these i found this for five dollars at a car to sell and this sold for 45 dollars plus shipping well some of you know that i've talked about in the past that i like to play pool in my off time and one thing that i had picked up were several packs of pro billiards tours world collectibles this is a sealed set now the seal on this one is broken but it had never actually been opened you can see it's 1993 pro, pro billiards tour this has just like trading cards this has all the pool players in it from 1993 and before this was a really really good pickup i picked up four packages of these for 20 dollars and i gave some away to my friends for different gifts but i decided to sell this one since i don't need to keep them all and this one sold for 20 dollars so i got my money back just out of this one sold a little my little pony plush and i keep my plushes down here in these two bins so i'm not sure exactly which bin it is but it's a bright yellow my little pony probably sitting down the bottom because i've actually had it for a little while it's probably in that first bin i was just looking in all right let's go back to this one. Oh, it's down here see it down here on the bottom there it is my little pony 2012 pegasus this sold for ten dollars plus shipping i paid a quarter for it at a garage sale next we'll come over here to the b2 bin and i sold a jj cole body bag this is a, a just a sling bag it's a diaper bag is what it is jj cole collection and this one was pretty good this one sold for 18 dollars plus shipping and again this is another little one dollar buy from a garage sale 
All right, I came across this at a garage sale, which was a really nice Pyrex pattern. You can see it's, it's green olives. And it's got the little green, the olives and the green leaves. And the bottom of it is green. Now I put this piece of paper in here to keep the lid from banging around, but you can see it's super clean, super nice. There really isn't any scratches on it, but on the outside it has very minor little paint scratches. This I paid $5 for and it sold for $38. All right, and in this bin, I sold this. This is a Gravis Destroyer Extreme controller for Windows PC or Mac games. This has a USB port. Found this at a thrift shop for $5. The buyer has $43 all in on this item right here. Sold another lot of records. This is a Glenn Campbell lot of four records. And this one is a limited collector's edition of Glenn Campbell. And then we got 12 strings guitar of Glenn Campbell. Glenn Campbell Christmas. And by the time I get to Phoenix, a lot of people probably know that song. It's been around for a while. This set of four records sold for $16 plus shipping. Sold an item back here. And and no, it's not this beautiful Blood, Budweiser Clydesdale Stein. It's this right here. This is a cigar cigarette ashtray. And I'm trying to get this out of the package so you can see it. And it's beautiful. You can see it's got that crystal glass look to it. This right here has no scratches. There's no chips. And just was gorgeous. Paid a dollar for it at a garage sale. And this just sold for $40. All right, and the last item I sold is over here in this bin. And this is actually a book that I got for myself that I was done with. And I turned around and sold it. And it's a good book. It's a popular book. It's Mobile Solar Power. And that's because I had converted my van into a camper van. And this book, I was done with it. I looked at it. Kept it in good condition. I think I paid maybe $12 for it. So I turned around, listed it and sold it. And this sold for $10.95 plus shipping. So I pretty much got my money back out of it after getting what I needed from this book. Well, like I stated at the beginning of the video, just 30 minutes a day can literally change your life. If you can find 30 minutes a day to go to that thrift shop or garage sale, 30 minutes a day to list a couple items. You can pay off your bills, pay off your debt, go on that much needed vacation, put money in savings, or just buy groceries, whatever you need. Just 30 minutes a day can make a difference. If you got anything good out of this video, then be sure to click that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of our videos, and go out there and find it, sell it, and profit. Everyone take care, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. And until next time, we'll see you on the flip side.